Hey, what's cracking? This is Darren McDuffie, affectionately known as the Fat Man, because I help you become perfectly healthy and toned. So today I'm going to film a little bit of a different video. You can see me from, you know, down probably the lower part of, uh, part of your screen, and I'm just filming this from from my Mac. But um, I'm going to talk today about uh, the thyroid stimulating hormone test, which is the predominant test for uh, you know, figuring out whether someone is hypothyroid or has any other um, thyroid conditions. So the first thing I want to do is just explain this to you. So what it is is what we call a TSH test or thyroid, thyroid stimulating hormone, and then we'll just put test here. So uh, let me get rid of that. I like order and fix it back. So thyroid stimulating hormone test. So this is the test that when you go in and you tell your doctor, you said, hey, doc, I think that I might have some problems with my thyroid. This is the actual test that they're going to give you. Now, there's one flaw to this test, and here, here, here's what it is. The thyroid stimulating hormone test actually measures if your brain is talking correctly to your thyroid. So specifically, it's measuring if your pituitary hormone, which is secreted by the brain, is talking to the thyroid. It does not measure your thyroid hormone levels. So what you want to do when you go into your doctor, you need to tell your doctor that, hey, you know what, doc? I want to be tested for my free T3 and my T4. So your T4, your T3 and your T4, your T3 is the thyroid hormone, uh, your free thyroid hormone, and your T4 is what we call your thyroid conversion hormone. So again, if you go back to the other videos, three means that iodine, the mole iodine molecule, so in the, your first, your free, t uh, free, uh, thyroid hormone, you have three molecules of iodine in your conversion, you have four molecules of iodine. And on you know, my first video I did, I told you that the iodine is essential for the health of the thyroid. So again, and we go back and we review, when you do a thyroid stimulating hormone test, what it's actually measuring is, is it's measuring the pituitary hormone, if your pituitary hormone is talking to the thyroid, it has nothing to do with your, you know, your uh, thyroid levels in your body. So what you want to do again is when you go in and talk to your doctor, say, hey doc, I want to be tested for T3 and T4. And then another uh, flaw about the thyroid stimulating hormone test is it's always fluctuating. You know, doctors come out with, you know, we want this level, then we want this level. And for a lot of people who don't score high on the thyroid stimulating hormone test or don't test within the levels of hypothyroid, they can go undiagnosed. And you can go on with these symptoms for years and never be diagnosed. And some of the symptoms of, of hypothyroidism are, um, you know, brittle, losing hair, unable to uh, lose weight. So those are some of the symptoms that you can suffer with for, for years. And many women are suffering from these symptoms. I believe that, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's a varying rate of women who do have uh, thyroid symptoms. And, you know, because women, this can happen for men too, but because women have uh, various degrees in their life, and what I mean by that is that women can start to have thyroid, uh, uh, thyroid problems as they approach uh, puberty. Then they can have thyroid problems as they, um, get into pregnancy and I know from some some reading that I've done is that Hashimoto's is a condition that usually happens as women become pregnant and Hashimoto's just means autoimmune disease and autoimmunity just means that the thyroid is actually attacking itself and then uh, once you have a baby then women get into menopause perimenopause and menopause so they can have you know a, a wide array of thyroid symptoms all throughout their life and a lot of these can be undiagnosed so in review, just when you go in to talk to your doctor and you think that you're having a, a thyroid problem, what you want to do is you really want to have them test your, your T3 and your T4 levels. 
and then that will tell you if you have any thyroid symptoms or not specifically if you are hyperthyroid so um, this has been Darren McDuffie affectionately known as the fat man helping you become perfectly healthy and toned hope you enjoyed the video and please leave me some comments thanks